Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to be another video on WordPress theme development and specifically I'm going to be talking to you about page templates as well as the WordPress page template hierarchy. These are topics that you need to fully understand before you can call yourself a bona fide WordPress developer. Now, if you're new to the channel or maybe this is the first time you're finding me, today's video is part of a series of tutorials I am making that are directed towards WordPress theme development in general. I've made quite a few already. I'll have links to the videos in the box below, but most recently I made a mini tutorial on how to use PHP in WordPress. Be sure to check it out if you're interested. But like I said, today's video is about WordPress page templates and specifically the WordPress page template hierarchy, what exactly it is and how does it work. So right now I am on one of my sample websites, CourseTyrant.com. And the thing is, no matter what page you visit on a WordPress website, there is some code behind the scenes telling WordPress what it is supposed to display on that page. Now, right now you can see I'm on my home page, and by default, WordPress will display the accepts of your blog posts on your home page. Right now, you can see I have my accepts for blog posts right here. And if I was to visit one of the blog posts, now I have a different structure. Now I have the title being very big. I have access to the full content for that particular post. And then down here, I have access to the comment section and so on. And in other themes, you may have a sidebar on the left, a sidebar on the right. You visit the page and then all of a sudden it's different. So what exactly is telling WordPress what to display and when to display it? That's basically what we call a page template. Templates are files that will tell WordPress what content it's supposed to display, when it is supposed to display that content, and also how it is supposed to display the content. Now, the thing is, WordPress is built in such a way that for a particular kind of page, WordPress may have access to four, even five different template files that it can use to display content for that page. So in such a scenario, how will WordPress determine which template file to use? Is it going to use template file A or B or C or D? It's not just going to say, okay, I'll, I'll use C or just choose one at random. No, there is a system in place that will determine which template file WordPress would use first. And then if that file doesn't exist, then it will go to the second possible file and so on. That's basically what we call the template hierarchy. WordPress has this inbuilt system for templates that for this particular kind of content, it will use this particular template file. If that one doesn't exist, it drops down to the next file in the hierarchy until it gets to the very end. And there is one particular universal template file that WordPress will always default to if there isn't any file that's higher in the hierarchy. And that is the index dot php that's why arguably the index dot php is one of the single most important files in any wordpress theme now to demonstrate this i'm going to show you an image i got from digwp.com awesome website by the way for learning about wordpress theme development right here they have this image showing you the wordpress template hierarchy at a glance you can see on the left we have the page type different kinds of page types for for page search page taxonomy home and so on and then on the right, you now have the hierarchy. So for a 404 page, WordPress will first of all look for a file called 404.php. If it doesn't exist, WordPress will then use index.php. Same goes with search as well. Is there a search.php file? No, there isn't. Okay, I'm going to use index.php. And then you can see for taxonomy, for home attachment, and so on and so forth. But pay close attention to the template files on the right. For each one of these pages, the very last template file is always the index.php. You see it's right there, it's index.php, index.php. So once again, index.php is the default template file WordPress will always use if there isn't any file higher in the template hierarchy. Now, to demonstrate this, I've already built a page here called the contact page. Now, I've also created some files in my 2021 theme, I'm using the 2021 theme, by the way. So you can see right here, I've accessed it via FTP. Now, 
I've created a page template here called the contact-page-template.php. You can see there's the file right here, and I've also added some code that says this is the custom page template, right? Now, if I was to go to the image right here, for pages, WordPress is supposed to, first of all, look for a custom template for that page, right? So right now, if I was to go to edit page, and then right here where you have the template, you can see I've chosen the contact page template. So if the hierarchy is correct, WordPress is supposed to display this content. So let me go ahead now and preview the page. And there it is, it says this is the custom page template. So WordPress is in fact using the page template that I built specifically for this page. Even though there is an index.php, even though there's a page.php, and even though all the template files exist, which we'll talk about next, but I'm gonna go right now to disable the custom page template that I've created. So right here, I'm gonna switch from contact page to default template. So now WordPress is no longer using the custom page template I created. Let me go ahead now, update, and let's see what we now have on the page. Now it says, this is the contact page, page slug file. What exactly is this? Well, going back to our template hierarchy, if a custom template does not exist for that page, WordPress will then look for a template file that's called the page and then the slog for that particular page. In this case right now, because my contact page is basically called contact, WordPress is gonna look for a template file called page-contact. And guess what? Yes, I do have the file right here, page-contact, and it's right here. It says this is the contact page, page slog file. So now WordPress is using the slog page template to display the content. But what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to disable this template as well. So what I will do right now is I'm going to rename the file right here from page-contact to just something gibberish, okay? So page that, <laughs> whatever, something, something insane. So the page-slog template file no longer exists. What will WordPress now do? By the way, we've also disabled the custom page template previously. So no custom page template, no page slug template. What will WordPress do? Let's go back to the template hierarchy in here. And according to the hierarchy, WordPress will then look for a template file that has the page and then the ID for that particular page. In this case right now, if I was to edit my page, you can see that the ID for this page is what 4780. So now WordPress will look for a file called page dash 4780.php and guess what you guessed it i do have page dash 4780.php right here and you can see it says this is the page id template for the contact page so let me go ahead now and view the contact page and let's see what we have let's refresh this page as you can see right now it says this is the page id template for the contact page but we're not done Let's take it one step even further. I'm gonna go ahead now and disable this file as well by giving it something insane. So let me just add some other numbers in here. So we're now we're displaying, we're disabling basically this uh, page template. So according to the hierarchy, WordPress will now look for page.php. And then right here you can see I do have a page.php. Let me just go ahead and add something at the top right here. So I'm just say this is the page. Just to prove to you that it's actually working. So this is the page. So now I'm gonna go back to my contact page. Let's refresh the page. And of course, right here it says, this is the page. And of course, finally, if I was to go back in here and disable this particular file by giving it an insane name, let's save that. What will WordPress do? WordPress is going to resort to using the index.php. So let me go ahead now and open up the index.php. Let me add some comments in here and say this is the index file. Let's go ahead now, save it. Let's go back to our page. Let's refresh the page. And of course, it says this is the index file. But let's go even one step further. Let's go ahead now. <laughs> and disable the index.php. I haven't actually tested this. I'm not sure what will happen. 
let's go ahead and disable the index.php. So now WordPress has no template file to display the content. Let's go back to our file right here, refresh. And of course, <laughs> you get an error message telling you that the template is missing. Uh, WordPress cannot display contents for that particular page. So that's basically uh, the WordPress page template hierarchy. So once again, page templates basically will tell WordPress what content is supposed to display, when it should display it, and also how it is supposed to display it. And of course, there is a hierarchy that WordPress will use to determine which template it should use when it has more than one option. So hope you guys now understand fully what the WordPress page template hierarchy is, what page templates are and how you can use them. If you have any questions, comments, do let me know, put them down in the comment section below. And by the way, if you do enjoy videos like this, please do let me know, leave a comment to help boost the YouTube algorithm, drop a like. And if you have any suggestions for videos regarding WordPress theme development in general, please do let me know. I'm open to suggestions. I want to make more content like this, but I also need some feedback from you guys. So please, if you have any suggestions for any videos regarding WordPress theme development in general, or maybe some more advanced topics in WordPress, uh, do let me know. Of course, if you enjoyed the video, like I said, do give it a thumbs up, share the video with anyone whom you feel might benefit. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe, hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new tutorial. My name is Alex. It's been a pleasure. I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.